Hello, I understand that you'd like to learn how to draw. It's a great skill to have, and all of us have it. It's locked up in the right side of our brain. The left side of our brain is what we use more consistently, and it's used a lot in education, so sometimes this side doesn't develop as quickly, but this side is used for logic and reading and so on. Very important, but not when you need to draw. So we're gonna to draw today in a continuous contour line manner, and we're going to use a Sharpie marker and a heavy white piece of paper or some protection underneath our paper so that we don't uh, stain the table underneath. All right, our hand, like our friends, we always pose our friends before we take their picture, so we don't wanna draw our hand flat. That's not very interesting or comfortable. So we're gonna draw with our hand or draw our hand in a more comfortable position. Maybe there'll be some overlapping fingers. All right, so there's a few rules. We're not gonna pick up our marker. We're certainly not gonna erase because we can't. We're not gonna pick up our marker and we're gonna draw things as we come to them so they stay in proportion with the rest of our hand. It's difficult for me to draw and talk at the same time, but sometimes I need to do so. I'm gonna to try to adjust the camera so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, here's my hand and my marker and my paper. I think you can see the whole thing, I hope so. All right, I'm gonna start drawing here with the thumb. I'll start on uh, here, the edge, and come around, drawing very slowly. Maybe I'll bend these other fingers a little bit. Okay, so here we are. I'm gonna start down here, drawing exactly what I see few extra wrinkles, hopefully you don't have those yet. Now I'm moving down to the thumb. Bet you never knew your thumb looked this shape. Moving up to the thumbnail. Across, I see a value change there, so I can capture that. Here's a knuckle, here's a knuckle. Again, I'm not picking up my marker. I'm drawing things as I see them. Now I've come to a few more folds before I get to my first finger. There we are, into that knuckle, down, over, across, another one. All right, we're working pretty well in proportion and speed. All right, and that's fast enough, by the way, maybe even a little too fast for beginners. While I'm here, I noticed that I have another finger to draw. It's touching right here. I might as well draw it so it stays in proportion. There it is. Okay. Capture that one. It comes up along this direction, hitting my next, my first knuckle. So I'm going to go back and draw that. I'm not concerned that things are might be a little out of proportion because the goal is to have a beautiful line and a rec. rec record of my hand as it was at this moment and at this time. So I'm reaching over to do my third finger. Maybe you'll end up with an extra one. Again, doesn't matter. We're learning how to move, to trace what we see with our mar marker on the paper. Here's my fourth and last finger. I to keep moving my hand. I hope you can see it. Let me move this. There we go. And capturing that fingernail. And this finger bumps into that one. I'm gonna move myself backwards. Up here I have another knuckle that shows a little bit. And then I'm gonna move down to the back of my hand like so. All right, there's things I can go backwards along the hand to capture things I missed. The top of this should come up here. And now we have all my fingers on this hand. Lovely. It's not perfect, and yours won't be either, but after you do two or three, they'll get better and better. I like, th I like to think about this drawing, uh, contour line drawing, as the difference in this map. Let's say I wanna take a drive. I have three roads to get me there. One, two, and three. 
Which is the most interesting drive? This is the expressway. No, thank you. Not interesting. This is under construction, I guess. Like a sketch, you think you're drawing with a sketch and what happens is you lose people's interest as that line is so broken. Last but not least is this beautiful contour along a river or mountainside, the best choice. So contour line drawing is an excellent way to learn how to draw and create a vocabulary of things that you've drawn from life often enough that you can draw them with almost without reference material. I would do natural things like your hand and flowers because you can't go wrong with flowers. An extra line, an extra petal, it's not going to matter. All right. Again, I work with an organization called Art Helps Heal. If you enjoy the video, go to our website and give generously. Thank you.